What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the side flip. Alright, so there are a few things you need to be able to learn the side flip. Number one is yourself. You need to be confident in yourself. You need to say, you need to be the kind of person that says, hey, if I mess this up, I'm going to keep trying and trying and trying and trying again. But anyway, you need yourself, you need a good attitude towards it, and you also need a somewhat flat spot uh, for first learning it you're gonna probably want a pretty open space um, with like some grass or maybe in a gym with a mat or something a soft surface to try your first ones on and then optional is a trampoline um, which is just can help you get the form down really nice and um, can help you learn it a lot easier on ground so if you have access to a trampoline even easier for you Alright, so the first thing that we're going to start off with is um, going over to the trampoline and you are going to work on a few drills. There are a few drills that come to mind when working for a working on a side flip. There's the side roll, which is kind of just like a roll sideways over your back. And there's also the side drop onto your back. And those are about the two drills that you're going to want to work on on the trampoline, as well as a few other tips, so stay tuned. Okay, so if you don't have access to a trampoline, uh, skip to this time in the video. Before all of this, you're going to want to uh, choose which side you're going to take off of. So by doing the drills, I'll show you, you can see which one feels more comfortable for you. For me, personally, it's my it's my right. Um, you know, whatever whatever feels most comfortable to you. Okay, so the first drill that we're going to do is just a simple roll over your side. This drill just helps you learn the form, how you're going to be moving in the air. So yeah. Alright, so this drill is really simple. All you have to do is just start standing this way. You're going to bend down a little bit like this. And you're just going to roll over your side, just like that. Okay, so the second drill is going to be basically the same thing, just with a little height added to it like this. So it's going to be a lot like the side roll, but just with a little drop. So you're going to lower down a little bit higher than you did for the roll, and just kind of jump, then land on your back. Instead of rolling over your back, you're just going to give it a little jump, a little hop into it like this, and try to get it so that you bounce right back up to your feet. If you can't, that's fine. And then just slowly increase your height until you're able to do it from like fully standing where you just jump. And then once you've mastered that and you have fully and you fully mastered the control and the form of that where you're not just flailing all over the place when you do it. Once you've done that, you can start to incorporate a few bounces into it. One, two. Just hollow out, land on your back. Alright, so once you've mastered that, all you need to do is just make that full rotation. I do suggest that you have already learned a front flip uh, before you try the side flip just so you know how to flip. Um, side flip is probably one of the less uh, dangerous tricks to do because instead of going over your head you're rolling over your back in the air and so it's not like you're gonna land on your head or anything while you're doing it. So once you've done the little drop to your back then you can um, Begin to just start making the flip around. If it looks like this on your first try, it's alright, just like this. If it looks like that, that's fine. Basically, you're gonna do the drop to your back, but just give it a little, a little more oomph. So you're gonna take a few bounces. In this case, I, I don't really need to, but you connect this part where you land on your back connect that part where you land on your back and then you just instead of dropping you just keep rotating. One more thing I forgot to mention about the form of a side flip is instead of just doing a side flip like this instead of doing a side flip just like this there's something else that you really need to know for both on ground or on trampoline and that is the set and throw uh, you're just gonna basically put this arm up and when you take off you're gonna get it in sync with your legs and so as your legs are bent your arms bent and when your legs are in your knees 
are fully extended, your arm is fully extended, and so that just helps you get a lot more power instead of just, you know, kind of throwing it like that. And um, it helps you set up instead of just down. Okay, so once you've mastered the side flip on trampoline, you can begin to bring it to the ground. Um, if you don't have a trampoline that you have access to, I would just recommend doing all the same things, but like on a mat or like on an old mattress that you have or even inside on like a couch cushion. Just practice all those things. And if, since you can't really balance on that, you'll kind of just have to go for it on ground with like a pad or something. So once you have mastered it on trampoline or done a few drills on mats or whatever, um, you're pretty much ready to go into it now. You have a you have a head start if you are able to do it on trampoline, um, but on ground you're basically going to do the same action, except you run into it and you do something called blocking, which is where you stick out your feet in front of you by just a little bit before you take off. So that on the front flip is kind of like this, where you just have your feet a little bit out in front of you so you can absorb that running momentum. There you're going to be running into it and just punch up. Of course, for a side flip, it's going to be sideways back. Okay, so on the topic of blocking, um, blocking is the most common way of doing the side flip and it is, in my opinion, the easiest way to learn um, just because you get this uh, fast running block and then you get height from that blocking whereas some of the other ways like a gather step you need to have a little bit stronger legs and you need to be a little bit more used to how you do a side flip um, in order to be able to do that as well as like the standing where there's it's just static there's no run up at all and you just do the side flip so for the block side flip you need a place where there's a, quite a bit of space so that you can run and then jump, you know, so however far you need to run to be comfortable. Usually it's only like um, a few steps. Just here, I'm like, bang, that's only a few steps. But if you're first learning this, you're just learning this now, you might want to take a few more steps uh, just to get that good run up into it. So you're going to run. You're going to turn as you're running when you're about to take off, like this. So you're running forward like this, and then you turn when you're blocking and then about to set. You turn like this, and then you just take off. Um, so without any further ado, um, this is what a blocked or a block side flip looks like. But there you go, There, that is an example of the block side flip. One more tip that I would have for you if you're just not quite getting it, um, is to imagine as if you are rolling over a block in midair, if there's like a block in midair, um, and you want to get over that block, but you don't want to hit your head on the block, so you need to hollow out your back so that you can roll over that object with your back. Um, another thing that you can do is like stack stack pillows or stack suitcases or whatever you need to if you just add a little bit more height if you're not getting quite enough height to do it that will make sure you get enough height and um, it, will it will also help you hollow out your back so you don't hit those. So that is the block side flip and uh, there are a few different ways um, that you can do the side flip. I recommend doing the block side flip, side flip as the first thing you learn but there are different variations of the side flip that you can learn um, once you've mastered the normal block side flip. And some of those include the step out, which I showed you as an example. Um, there are things like the gather step side flip, where you just put one foot out in front and then bring the other foot and then just take off. And then there's also just the standing side flip. All right, guys, so that was the side flip tutorial. If you did enjoy this, Please leave a like and give me some feedback about it in the comments. If I missed anything, make sure to leave that in the comments as well, and I will make sure to uh, touch up on it in a later video, or I might remake this tutorial later on. 
Um, but yeah, if this helped you learn how to do a side flip, leave a comment saying, hey, this helped me learn, to si learn a side flip, and if you have a video of it on your channel, I'll check it out, and that would be really cool and inspiring for me as well. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe, um, comment any trick ideas or video ideas you have in the comments, um, leave some, again, leave some, uh, leave some comments down there to let me know if I should do more tutorials, um, and that's about it for this video, I'll see you in the next one.